Welcome to Middle-Aged Men in Glasses. <laughs> We're back at the smallest cog and we've got a fairly unique day ahead of us. We do not get this very often. Hammond and me. We filmed this video in January, hence why we all look a bit cold. And this was James's first ever visit to the smallest cog. So Richard treated him to a tour of the workshop. Hammond has given James the full tour of the workshop now, but we're finding out the real reason James is here sorting out a bike frame. I've commandeered Hammond's entire workforce, or <laughs> two thirds of them, the other third being uh, poorly, should we say, with you yeah. know what. Poor old Anthony can't be here, yeah. So, um, very skillfully removed the lugs that I don't need by debrazing and desoldering. Very risky, because you can end up with a hole in the frame, in which case it's nixed. Now we're just going to grind off the excess and then finish it off with some hand files, yeah. probably in a bit of wire wool. Yeah, then... a bit of wire wool, but a bit of, yeah, a bit of sandpaper just to get, it depends how smooth we get. This should be quite smooth and we'll probably run a DA over it when we do the paint, take yeah. these screws out and carry on. But if you want to, you can have a go with that one. No, you do. I want, I'll have a go first and then you can I want it all go done by a professional. Oh, you, could, you could have got the blade man if it went wrong, but it don't no, matter. No, I... <laughs> I've always had a theory that most people with classic cars, classic bikes, always wanted to have a go in a workshop and paint their own car. Yes. And I think that's right, but I suppose it's the health and safety side of it would be against it, but... Yeah, but I, it's also a mistake. Because mm. people think, oh, spray and paint on is easy, but it really isn't, No, no, is no, no, yeah. no. You could make a world of pain. <laughs> I've, I've tried it and I'm not doing it again. Just in case, I, 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 dread, right. I dread the thought of you getting sparks in your eyes and be down A&E for four hours. Okay, I'm back on Mars. That's it, perfect. Life on Mars. Okay? Yep. Have a look if you're if you're happy with it. It's not far well, a little bit square there, we do it on a file then, but he's Yeah, that's a file job. Yeah. Almost draw filing almost. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just literally a little bit. Excellent. He's not far off, is he? Very, very close. That was very brave, going <laughs> that close. Yeah, yeah, it could be, the trouble is you can't put the metal back on, can you? you no, can... take it off, you can't put it back on. And other things that metalwork teachers say. Richard, you've known James for nigh on 30 years now. Were yes. you a bit nervous about him coming today? Yeah, uh, I'm an idiot because um, I've known yeah, nearly 30 years and he won't mind me saying he is a man known for his astonishing attention to detail yep. and yet I agreed to paint his bicycle frame. The chances of him not finding a blemish or something to his dislike on that are vanishingly small but I think given, and he has said it, given the chance, if he lived closer I'd come in in the morning and he'd be in there painting something or fixing something or well. I was saying it's a shame he's not got any classic cars left to bring here. Yeah, That'd be the perfect he would, fit. He would be all over it, he would love it. Yeah, it'd be quite nice. Also him and Neil between them. Yeah, it's a lot of chat. They chatted for about 45 minutes over there about filing. It was great. Yeah, yeah. And he won't mind me saying any of this is because he does know that about himself. He likes to chat about mechanical stuff. So yes, he's both the perfect customer because he's interested and cares about it and enthusiastic and knowledgeable, but the worst customer because there's more attention to detail. And actually it'd be like, it'd be like reversing it and painting a car for me. Okay which is not something anybody would want to do ever. Because, <laughs> the like James, it would just be all over it. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I've had a bicycle. What's next? That steam engine in the yard? Or we're moving away from cars, clearly. Not, not that far away from cars. It was a brief hop away from cars. The lads have loved it because they've loved having him over and meeting him. And uh, they enjoyed doing a bicycle because it was something different. But it's taken most of the day. Yeah. Financially, it won't quite stand up. James, it's been awesome filming you and Hammond today. What do you think of his new digs? Uh, I, I love it. I think it's a, a truly fantastic workshop and I'm quite envious, if I'm honest. Well, it's a shame that you've kind of got rid of all the cars that would fit in here, your Ferrari, etc. You've yeah. not really got a classic anymore. No, the only thing I've got is a beach buggy, which is already in perfect nick. So I don't really need his services apart from to occasionally paint a bicycle frame. Well, that is looking very good so far. What are you expecting from that? 
pristine? Yes, frankly. I'm expecting it to look pebble beach bicycle frame. Okay, no pressure. No less. Mm. And what do you think of the guys? I think Hammond's found some pretty Oh yeah, they're tremendous. Yeah. Yeah, they're very entertaining apart from anything else. And they obviously know their stuff. So he's, all the ingredients are absolutely perfect. He just needs some jobs. Would you actually like to use the place, come in, maybe work on your own bikes over the weekend, do your own little knickknack? It's a bit far away, but potentially in the summer, yeah. Okay. It's, it's chuffing freezing in here. And I don't, I'm not sure Hammond has quite grasped the impact of temperature on morale. Absolutely. History has demonstrated this many, many times. Well, they've got that jet engine there, which is pretty toasty, but they're yeah, only but they allowed to fire turn, up once yeah, they, <laughs> they won't turn it on. <laughs> a fire that you don't turn on is the most useless thing in the world. It's just <laughs> taking up space and money. <laughs> okay, well, looking forward to seeing how your bike comes out. Yeah, so am I. It should be out, so um, I reckon by 5.30, which is in an hour and a half's time, it will probably be pretty much there. And then that is your project for this coming year? Will that be a full bike fairly soon? Oh, that'll be a full bike within a couple of weeks. Oh, cool. Yeah. Could we film Just, you riding it? Yeah. As soon as the bits arrive, I'll sling it together and then I'll bring it over here and you can have a picture of it parked in the empty space in the workshop where there's no other work. You can just have a nice portrait of my bicycle. You're already thinking about thumbnails. Yeah. There you go. Coming soon to Drive Tribe. Thumbnails. Technical term. Nothing to do with thumbs or nails, actually. No, why has what? it got that name? Does anyone know why a thumbnail Well, it comes from thumbnail? contact sheets in photography where you used to lay all the, either the um, transparencies or sometimes the negatives on one sheet of photographic paper, expose it. Okay. So then you got those little tiny pictures which you'd give to the editor and they'd say, I'll have that one, that one and that one. Okay. That's a, a so-called contact sheet. And they became known as thumbnails, I suppose, because, well, my thumbnails, because I'm peasant stock, are fairly square. And about you the size of an a, enormous thumbnail. Yeah, I have. It's about twice the size of mine. See, if they'd hung around with people like you, they wouldn't be known as thumbnails because your thumbnails aren't the right shape. But mine <laughs> are. It's like a little picture, and that's, I presume, how they became known as thumbnails. Anybody know otherwise? There you go. Origin of the YouTube thumbnail by James May's thumb. <laughs> Welcome to Middle-Aged Men in Glasses. <laughs> uh, be honest. Yes. You are more impressed than you've ever been with anything at the facilities and the general panache and style with which we go about our business. Facilities, yes, definitely. Okay, I, I am Superb, sure. yes. Yeah. No, it's really great. It's, um, I can imagine many happy Thursday evenings here. You see? Yeah, if, if this it's is a hobby. If this is close. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Okay, discounting the huge potential for catastrophic business failure yes. for a second. If you had your way, you'd just be here all the time working. If I live near it, yeah, you wouldn't get rid of me. No, you'd be here all the time. Definitely. And actually, I don't think, I'll be really honest now, I don't think you are headed for business failure because your show's proving quite popular. Obviously, it pains me to say that. Of all the people watching your show, most of whom will be old car enthusiasts, you only need a tiny number of them to think, I'm going to have my my work done by the workshop whose name we're not strictly supposed to mention, but it's the smallest cog, yeah. that you're done. Yeah, we don't need a lot of work, but we do need... But you do need some. Yes, <laughs> and the problem is the long jobs just on and on and on and on. What we need is those quick turnaround... Bicycle frames, for example. That's a bit too quick. And, and maybe it's cars. It's taken all day. Maybe, yeah, that's because you were talking to Neil. I watched. Yeah, it was. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a very interesting man. Well, he was telling me about his rally chopper. No, well, there you go. That's the one frustration for me, is I set this up thinking, brilliant, of an evening, I'm yeah. there, learning alongside the masters. But you're going to have to do management. Neil and Andrew can teach me how to fix cars and paint cars properly and do... They'd probably work. rather you buggered off and stayed in your office. Yeah, they would. Mm. It's a bit <laughs> like my pub. I go down there and I make suggestions and they go, yeah, that's a great idea, James. Going, and yeah. then they completely ignore it. Yeah. All of it. Yeah. yeah, I think this is going to turn out to be a bit like that, but it is early days here. Yeah, no, I, I mean, it's quite, I'm glad you've got it. It means I don't have to go to all this trouble because you've it already done it. It is actually, I can see how it could be a very useful facility for you to, well, 
Yes. Exhibit A. I could, for example, bring a bicycle frame that needed painting. Yeah. You have used my number one operative all day. Yeah. I'll pay. <laughs> I can't okay. charge it what it would cost. I just would feel awful. Right. 50 quid. Yeah, OK. It's going to yeah. be it's going to be a drink. OK. It is. is. With the frame now painted and dry, all that was left was to wrap up James's bike and bid farewell. What's been really nice about filming with both of them today is that you can tell that they're having so much fun that they are genuine friends and I just think that's so cool to see. It's very rare that we get both of them on the channel but we will do our utmost to get them in as many videos as possible. I've been Mike and don't forget to subscribe to Drive Tribe. Thank you.